Hi, welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm your host, Christine Arth, and we are here with Puya Amadi. Hi. <laughs> We're working on editorial design this week, and Puya is going to show us some pretty cool stuff that he's been working on from the past, as well as some editorial that he's going to do on the spot this week with us. Um, we have um, some pretty cool stuff to look through. Actually, I'm curious what you brought with you. Yes. Yes. Um, Puya brought one of his designs. Yeah, it's the journal that we're going to be working on today, or uh, three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, while uh, while Puya introduces himself a little bit, uh, why don't we take a look through some of his work? So, where are you from, Puya? Uh, I'm originally from Iran, Tehran, um, and I moved to Switzerland uh, about ten years ago. That's where I did my uh, graduate. Uh, studies in nice. graphic design, nice. uh, and then moved to Chicago about seven, eight years ago. Go Cubs or go Sox? <laughs> uh, I'm not really big on sports. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, so uh, go home. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. <Yeah. laughs> Super funny. Um, yeah, you have some really lovely work. Uh, I'd love to show a little bit of your portfolio while we talk through some of these pieces. Sure. Uh, yeah, um, that, uh, first one, that first one that we're looking at is actually a lecture series that I uh, organized at UIC School of Design, uh, University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, I did the poster series for the, uh, for the seminars. Amazing. Uh, so that's one of them. And the second one is the what we just looked at, the amalgam. Yeah, um, which we have right here, which is pretty cool. Um, we can take a peek on that later and sure. with the uh, GoPro so you yeah. guys can see it up close. But Yeah, that's um, it's actually a kind of newsprint uh, thing that I did for an um, art space uh, in Chicago, Logan Square. They do these like uh, sort of like poetry readings and Amazing. performance art. Um, so that's not kind of like the readings and uh, so cool. documentation. How did you get involved with that? Uh, through friends of friends, basically. Nice. Yeah. What, mm, uh, word of mouth. Yeah. Mostly. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> You're like, really. all right, I'll do it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, oh, this is yeah. cool. That's uh, yeah, that's actually with the same people um, for the that art space. This is a fundraiser. The uh, Green Lantern two years. Press. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was like a sort of like identity for the whole like uh, event. Uh, it was like an exhibition the auction. The type's great. Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's a big type is the custom. All thing custom. I did. Yeah. Um, awesome. Smaller type is this um, sort of Swiss type foundry uh, called Swiss International, or the typeface is Swiss International. The type foundry is Swiss typefaces. Really um, cool. This one is a catalog actually for a design museum, Chicago Design Museum. Um, and yeah, this is for an exhibition about like four years ago. Nice. This one is. Was this custom to, type as well? Uh, yeah, the, the numerals, yes. Cool. Uh, the wrists. Is, yeah, that's what I kind yeah. of see. The numerals, I'm like, <laughs> right, yeah, the funky this is stuff. awesome. All the yeah. funky stuff. Are... Like, the funky stuff's mine. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> I'm like, that's the best right. stuff. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. That's great. Kind of a make, weird mix of all kinds Amazing. of things. Uh, this is a poetry book um, for Birch Books Chicago. Oh, cool. Um, is this part of the same or different? No. Poster. Uh, Got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one is a separate project. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, for another exhibition at uh, Sector 2337 Chicago. It's an online is exhibition slash publication. Nice. Um, and this one is actually a really old project. This is a catalog for an exhibition back in Switzerland. So this actually I did when I was a student. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it's an old. <laughs> I love being able to go back and seeing certain uh, pieces that people have done in their past, but yeah. they're still really good. <laughs> Thanks. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you're going to be working on today. Sure, yeah. Uh, so we're going to be working on um, a chapter or a section of uh, Malcolm Journal. This mm -hmm. uh, It's a ah, yes. sort of design journal that I edit and I design myself. Um, and so I just picked one of the chapters that I felt excited, pretty excited about, which is an interview with this uh, Thai Foundry. It's a Swiss Thai Foundry. Cool. Uh, it's an independent Thai Foundry what called one? Uh, Dynamo. They say nice. Dynamo, or you can say Dynamo. Um, and so they're basically, it's an independent Thai Foundry um, 
based in Berlin and um, Basel, Switzerland. And so, yeah, they do all, uh, I can actually pull it up, I don't know if you can see my oh, screen, but. Yeah, we can switch to your um, screen. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is their website. Um, they do all kinds of like, you know, um, they call it Dynamo nice. hardware, which is like basically t-shirts awesome. and, uh, you know, wearable and all that stuff. And then they do um, tie faces, a custom and also commercial. Uh, this is one of their latest um, releases, Jinto. Um, so yeah, they really like do all kinds of really exciting work, um, and it was great to sort of have this. This is uh, so the uh, the interview is kind of like a conversation. Uh, I know one of the guys from uh, Basel when I was studying there. Um, so the conversation starts with like back then, mm -hmm. and then sort of like flash forward like where they are now and what they do. But yeah, you can definitely check out their website. Their work is amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. Really cool. It's very different. I love um, it. Yeah, it's not a uh, common looking type, so right. it's nice to see something that's so strange and irregular, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> right. uniform. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very cool. Um, so we have some fun stuff that we're going to do today. Uh, we're definitely going to take a look through more of that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to go through um, Puya's work, uh, get some mood boarding going, and then we have a couple giveaways. So um, first, we're going to do a chat and win later today. So if you guys join us when you see some fireworks and start chatting, you have a chance to win an Okrop pin, which is this, and an InDesign sticker that is a little bit larger than usual. So pretty cool gifts for today. Um, and if you guys are checking out the challenge tab, Monotype has released uh, in, a, in conjunction with Typekit over 600 fonts that you're now able to use. So what we're gonna do is have you guys design a business card using the template on the challenge tab and using one of the new fonts. And then we'll take a look through those later and give some uh, critique. So it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, all right, Great. let's uh, let's yeah. make some stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so just have this like uh, breakdown of stuff that you're gonna be doing. Um, so uh, first day, I'm just going to start by setting up um, the document that, mm -hmm. or you know, the format and everything that, you know, the sort of uh, space that we're going to be working in. And I'm going to move forward with um, sort of specifying all the components mm -hmm. um, and sort of like uh, set up certain parameters for the publication or, well, the, the design that we're going to be doing. Um, and then the second day and third day is just going to be like going sort of like through the entire, you know, sort of uh, content and like laying everything out. This out. is great. Based I like on. that you have a schedule and that it's like, we're going to do these things. That's very good project management <laughs> of yourself. Well, hopefully it works out. <laughs> but yeah, if we get to it, uh, we're going to do like a little sort of like cover slash kind of intro page for awesome. the whole thing. Um, yeah. Amazing. Excited. Well, chat, when you have uh, questions, definitely chime in and let us know. Puya will be here to answer all of your editorial needs, <laughs> <laughs> at least uh, in verbally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. cool. Yeah. Should we jump? Yeah, let's into jump it? in. Right. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. So um, I'm just going to start um, in design. I'm going to make a document. Um, and it's going to be actually the exact same size of um, as the the actual uh, publication, oh, nice. six and a half by nine nice. inches. I'm yeah, going. Yeah, it's a great size. <laughs> Very pocketable. Yeah, it's like a standard. Yeah, yeah not book, too large. Sort of. Like yeah. Um, and then yeah, just going to do facing pages, and I'm not going to specify like margins and stuff or bleed or slugs anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to create like a blank, literally. Just like a blank page nice. um, and I'm just gonna do like um, so there's a lot of like different ideas about how you know grids and uh -huh. typographic grids are done and all that uh, what I'm gonna do is slightly maybe different um, just in approach um, cool uh, so I, I like this because uh, we were heavy grid this morning <laughs> and oh, okay. I'm not a grid cool. person so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see a new yeah. way to work yeah, so it's <laughs> just going to be a little um, more loose in some ways, but cool. then kind of like strict at the same time. So, I mean, I, you're going to see like how things are going to work out. But so the general idea is, I mean, usually what you do is that you just like 
first thing is that you set up your margins and you know you just um, um, do like figure out what you know your column, how many columns you're gonna have, or set up the guidelines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is I find this generally very restrictive, um, and you kind of feels like you kind of jump into a conclusion in a way. So because it's pretty standard like with this kind of you know um, format that you set up a six six column grid and mm -hmm. you just pop in the content. So what I'm gonna do instead is that I'm actually gonna start laying out the content before specifying any kind of grid or anything. Nice. So what this this does for me is that it actually gives me like a very sort of intuitive workflow mm -hmm. without forcing myself into any kind of system right away. Yeah. Um, but then once I'm happy with what I see on the page, then I'm gonna go back and build a system around it. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like my approach. And then uh, from there, I'm gonna sort of introduce more elements um, to the page. So I'm gonna start with the actual like conversation, the body copy. And then from there, I'm gonna introduce like more elements um, into the layout, like okay. the, you know, the folio and the running titles and you know, images and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Cool. I like that backing into it process. I think that there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of more, like some ideation that can come out of it, yep. which is really nice because yeah. you're not yeah. restricting yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, cool. So what is the text that we're using? Uh, this is the actual conversation oh, cool. uh, that I had with, um, with um, Dynamo. Uh, their name is uh, Johannes Breyer and Fabian Harb. Um, nice. Yeah. So, but they collectively answer the question, <laughs> so it's not their, you know. It really gets both of them combined yeah, into one person. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to drop in the first, um, quest, or the first, you know, paragraph or the first thing, which is my sort of uh, uh, part, and then a question at the end, and then nice. this, and then the next thing is basically there. Thing. And the cool thing that they did is that they, after we were, so we were doing this conversation over email. So this is like a real actual conversation. It wasn't like I came up with questions right. and then <laughs> sent them, you know, sent them their way. So and did then, you transcribe it or were you typing the whole time? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I was like basically just like really trying to like have a natural conversation yeah. instead of like having this kind of formal thing. And that's kind of like that works, uh, I feel like with their, you know, with how they operate. They're mm -hmm. very sort of like casual. They're like really like um, their work has a certain level of rigor to it. I mean, mm -hmm. you can see like by looking at it. So it's not like that they don't take things seriously, but they're also at the same time very sort of like casual and friendly. And so I kind nice. of wanted to keep it that way. Um, but yeah, so this kind of conversation starts from like where, um, you know, where, uh, they started uh, as a, okay, I'm just gonna delete this one, where they started as, a, you know, as students, um, mm -hmm. and then they organized this sort of lecture series at school, or Fabian and some of the, some of his other friends did. And I sort of start there, um, and then sort of try to see like, um, why they got interested in this, you know, type of design that they do, mm -hmm. um, and see like where they come from. Um, and from there we kind of like move into more like details about like how they operate and what their philosophy is. Nice. Um, yeah, so they, they seem like interesting people and uh, yeah. to create the type that they do, they must be uh, very curious, you yeah. know? Yeah, Because like it's very wild for Swiss. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah, really great thing cool. <laughs> uh, about them. Yeah, it's, I'm glad that you picked up on that because that's like, uh, and, you know, I think that's a really great thing about contemporary Swiss uh, sort of typography and yeah. type design that it's like sort of very different compared to what it's, you know, Swiss design is known for right. like from the 60s and, you know, 50s and 60s. Um, so these guys actually are really pushing the edges. That's going to be like, cool. Yeah, what Swiss design is known for. So I'm just, um, so of course, uh, since this uh, conversation is actually a bit, um, uh, these guys who are type designers, I'm mm -hmm. going to be using their typefaces for this conversation. And, nice. And so I have like uh, basically one of, or yeah, I have pretty much all. <laughs> typefaces. You're like, I've got them all. Yeah. Which one are we focusing <laughs> on like, today? Yeah. So, um, so I'm really I'm going to try to keep this as natural as possible. So mm -hmm. there is like, like I said, 
some of this is planned, like for real. <laughs> <laughs> You're like some um, of it, but right, not all. But of not it. everything. So this is going to be actually fluid. Like things are going to happen nice. <laughs> as I'm like you know figuring things out. So um, so yeah, and um, awesome. what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to try to sort of see, uh, you know, what typefaces would be um, sort of appropriate for this conversation mm -hmm. and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna build the whole um, system around it and this so when I say system like you know you immediately a lot I guess people think about this, this of this kind of rigid you know sort of um, non-flexible kind of thing but mm -hmm. this is gonna I'm, so you, I mean you, you're gonna see I'm gonna try to make it as flexible as possible so it gives like uh, some room for you know some playful elements to come in and you know cool things like that well chat if you guys have any questions for Puyo while he's yeah. working uh, feel free to shoot him over yeah um, I'm <laughs> curious if anyone out there has been using uh, Dynamo fonts before or if they're familiar yeah, with the foundry <laughs> yeah yeah they actually just recently redesigned Tumblr Cool. Uh, logo or identity. So if nice. you might have heard of it because they're pretty big amongst yeah, yeah, yeah. designers. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm just kind of um, figure out um, um, uh, yeah, Noel, Noel's asking, what are some other creative hobbies that you have? <laughs> Good question. Um, well, I would say creative. Um, I would say photography is definitely one of them. Nice. Um, I've, um, most of <laughs> the things that I do actually revolve around design are somewhat related to design. They're maybe not as different. Uh, but yeah, if I want to, I don't know, pick something that is um, actually um, cooking. Cooking, <laughs> nice. Cooking. Yeah, what do you like to cook? <laughs> um, all <laughs> kinds of things, actually. I kind of, like, sometimes I do, like, these, like, experimental things that I, so this is how it works. Like, <laughs> I just, like, I'm like, I feel fridge. like we hit on a, <laughs> on a subject that you're really excited yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, so I basically just go to the fridge and see, like, what I can find. And then I'm thinking, like, okay, would this go with this? And, you know, nice. what, what kind of, like, ingredients would Is it, like, refrigerator challenge? You're basically, like, ooh, right? what's yeah. left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's fun. I find it, like, really creative, actually, now I think about it. Awesome. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's really challenging. Sometimes you fail, like, horribly. And you just, <laughs> it just it goes, like... Straight from the pan to the garbage. So yeah, it's, well, you yeah, know, it's not always sometimes <laughs> salt can't fix it. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, All right, guys, you've got ten minutes, and then we're gonna do the chat and win countdown. Mm -hmm. So get excited, because it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, actually, yeah, Roxanne is uh, cooking is a good way to get creative in other ways. I agree. And then Alexandra has a question about words flow or doc flow. Do you use either of those to flow in words from Google? Words versus Google words Docs? Words flow or doc flow or Google Docs, yeah. Yeah. Um, like Any all word. in the above? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like, I used to use Word a lot, but then I kind of switched to like Mac um, text edit just mm -hmm. because of the simplicity of it. I like that I don't have to. I mean, the fa also the reason that I did it is because the program loads like in right. a second. I with Word, I feel like I have to wait like three hours. Uh, but the, of course, you have like more flexibility and like, yeah. how you lay things out. Do you ever use so, a plugin for it? I think he's curious about a plugin directly from that into InDesign so that it streamlines your process. Oh, like with. Um, with Word, mm -hmm. like importing. Yeah, I mean, you can actually import directly. So like it, Word is good because like if you have like food notes and everything, mm -hmm. you can actually import it properly into InDesign so that it would actually identify all the pieces. Like it mm -hmm. would know like, okay, these are food notes. These are, you know, yeah. this is the main copy. I don't really have food notes or anything here. It's a really basic kind yeah. of Yeah, like this text. is a conversation. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, that would m make more sense to have like a Word document if I had a more complex sort of hierarchy and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. 
Hey, Robert. Hey, Voodoo Val. Abel, Constantin, welcome guys. Thanks for joining the chat. We have Puya with us today and he's working on his edition of Amalgam. And uh, we're gonna watch as he whips up a conversation from Dynamo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or is it Dynamo? Uh, I think they say Dynamo. Dynamo. In Sweet yeah. But, I, mean, I, I, yeah. I was I like, it's like know. Dynamo. Like <laughs> yeah, dynamite? Dynamite. <laughs> right. Yeah. But yeah. I You're like, whatever no, it's you, Dynamo. <laughs> whatever you feel like. <laughs> I wanna say it right. <laughs> yeah. That's um, pretty cool. So yeah, I'm kind of like uh, trying to like see like two pick two um, uh, typefaces from of theirs that are kind of like very uh, opposite kind mm -hmm. of looking like one is the first one that I'm using for my portion is Jinto um, medium which is kind of like an extended uh, typeface and mm -hmm. it's, I'm using it slightly heavier weight it's actually the medium weight Cool. And the other one is part of their other catalog. It's called Dynamo or Dynamo Standards. Um, and that's a serif typeface, which is actually really interesting. It has really interesting details if you look. Oh, yeah. Like, look mm -hmm. at that. Oh, like it's, has, it's a very yeah, sharp. Yeah, the counter pointy. is really sharp. It's much yeah. more pointy and sharp. Definitely. But um, the ball of the R's are still really yeah, round. It's very an circular. interesting combination. Right. Yeah. So it's like a very kind of like extreme in yeah. a way. Um, but yeah. Uh, Jinto is, has a really kind of like friendly and like yeah, smooth. Yeah, it's uh, a little bouncy. Right. I like it. <laughs> I love the A's. They're like oh, those really are cute. amazing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm just kind of like trying to see like what would be an interesting um, combination, kind of a little unexpected maybe. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just like adding a little bit of tracking here and there. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm just trying to sort of like see what looks good optically. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then from there, I'm just gonna sort of go for uh, maybe something, oh, sorry. Setting up the grid and everything. So this is, like I said, this is gonna be a little bit like rough mm -hmm. right now. Oh um, yeah, it always is in the beginning, right? right? Yeah. It's like whenever anyone looks at stuff, they're like, are right. you, you're not done, are you? Right. And you're like, no, yeah. I just started. <laughs> yeah, basically, right? Yeah. Um, so. That's yeah. good though. Um, and then I'm just gonna see like, okay, what type size would be. Yeah, you're like, what's um, optimum? Right, <laughs> yeah. Um, so is 10 good? Because, you know, if you notice, like they're right now, they're both set to 10 points. But see, like the Pegasus, which is a serif one, mm -hmm. is a lot, it looks a lot smaller. So the question is, do I want them to optically look the same size? Right. Um, and then so if I do want to do that, then um, I would just like have to you know, select that and, um, you know, think about, OK, what's the optimal sort of blank spacing and usually how you match I mean if if the goal is to sort of match them mm -hmm. optically the same you kind of like there are different ways to do that like some people go off of X height mm -hmm. or cap height yep um, so or some people go off of the you know the thickness of the stroke or, so there are very different ways of doing that I just usually go by like the either the X height or just the level of like gray values, like the overall grayness. Right, right, right. Um, so right now, if you like, just if I look back, you'll see that the, that the Jinto, or my portion, the first portion is, um, you know, darker, mm -hmm. of course, the darker gray values. So like with this, I could do either like heavy rate or I could just increase the type size mm -hmm. um, to the point where they're sort of like the same gray value. And I kind of like that, I like to go like, I like to have that sort of like weight difference, but then see like how I can optically match them by just coming up with different mm -hmm. scales. Um, and you know, like there's uh, there's so much you know sort of theory or like context around like or conversation conversation around like how these things should be done. You know, what's the proper or optimal like line spacing? Mm -hmm. or, 
I think if, as long as we know the rules, we can break them, right? right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm kind of all about that. Like, I mean, I, it's cool to, I mean, I think it's great. It's important to know the rules. But once you know them, I think you should be able to, manip- or not manipulate, but like shape them in a way that totally. serves. Totally. Well, a visual dialogue. Right, yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, yeah. So, so I'm kind of like trying to set up like something relatively basic. Um, as you can see, it's nothing complicated, but you're going to see like as I move forward, um, I'm going to introduce a whole bunch of things that are going to actually make this a You're like, we're going to complicate this. Right. <laughs> it's not going to stay basic. Yeah. Like You're like, this is, this is just today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just like figuring out, okay, like what, you know, how far the text is going to go? What are the, you know, line breaks? Um, do I want to do like, you know, line breaks like that? Or do I want to do like indents um, instead? Oh, yeah. So, like, I can do half an inch. I was like, we're getting crazy now. Right. We're doing indents and line <laughs> right. breaks. Yeah, all kinds of things right now. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> totally. Yeah. So, it's kind of, yeah. It's kind of good. Tomorrow we'll be cooking. Right, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, Who knows? Right? <laughs> Tomorrow's a whole new day. It's just going to be, uh, like, all right, guys, you've got another minute and a half, and then we're going to chat and win. Get excited. It is the crop pin. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, crop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like this is kind of, like, pretty much what I'm thinking is, like, a good balance. Like, yeah. The gray is somewhat... Okay, let's see if I can go to... Yeah, now that you've said the gray balance, I definitely see that, and it's, yeah, it's kind of like feeling right. Almost, yeah. uh, uh, and I don't, yeah, I kind of want to uh, have this contrast, like in scale, mm-hmm. um, but like have somewhat um, relatively the same gray value. I still, I think I can maybe add a little oops, more uh, maybe space in here to that Jinto guy. Nice. Yeah, I like how, I like how fun and happy that font is. <laughs> yeah, it's, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's fun to do that with a extended. I don't feel like I've seen very many that are that like happy looking <laughs> happy, and yeah. kind of fun and like uh, yeah. silly in a way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the I mean, so the the right way of doing the word spacing is that I mean, I'm kind of like the, the, I mean, if this is the purpose of this is to be printed, you actually have to print these pages. Or this is how I actually learn typography. If I wow. do it for print, you have to do test prints. All right, you guys. Oh, right. We're going to stop for a second. Fireworks. You see the fireworks? Okay. All right, guys, chat and win. We'll be right back, and we're going to share a winner. <laughs> All right, guys, looks like you guys chat. (laughs) And that means someone's gonna win. Let's see. Who's the winner? (laughs) That was just evil. I'm like, who's the winner? (laughs) They usually will let us know by now, I know, right? (laughs) Do we have a winner? Oh, all right. Well, you guys, we're going to probably have a winner shortly. So until then, in the meantime, why don't we ask Priya, what is your favorite cuisine to cook? Uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, so I grew up eating uh, Persian food. Oh, so nice. that's yeah. like Delicious. obviously <laughs> one of the ones that I always like to cook. Who um, likes Persian food? <laughs> <laughs> Chat and win. <laughs> questions. Yeah. Right? They're like, we all do. We all do. <laughs> The suspense is killing me, too. They're like, I love Persian food. I love it. I hope I win a patch. (laughs) Oh, we did. We got one. All right. Do you want to announce the winner? Okay. Oh, yeah. Tobias Block. Nice. Tobias Block, you won. You've got a sticker and you've got an oh crop pin. (laughs) Good job. Way to chat. Way to win. (laughs) You're like, all right, now we're getting back down to business. All right, back to, yeah. Persian food right, and, and Dynamo. Right. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, so yeah, I was saying like, uh, if you guys want to actually do a proper, you know, print publication, you mm -hmm. kind of, so like, you know, it's best to have like a baseline grid. I mean, I'm skipping a whole bunch of things. I'm just like going completely optically. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you really want to see like how things look, you really have to like print things out, but this is not what we're going to do today. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball things. Yeah, you're like, we're eyeballing. I'm like, <laughs> right. I love eyeballing. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so like technically like you're supposed to like, in terms of like the letter spacing, you have to go start by like ha like um, one third of the counter space mm -hmm. of the letter form like O. So like take one, that, like one third of that and then imagine that would be the, the word spacing between the, Got it. between the letter form. So, but then that's just like a beginning point. You kind of have right. to like print it and take a look, see if that. Yeah, looks otherwise right. it'll get too tight right. and it'll yeah. be too much for the eye to take right. in. But that gives yeah. you a good sort of baseline to think about these kind of things because you know you can imagine like the letter form. So like a heavy typeface, uh, you know, it's going to have like smaller counter forms. Mm -hmm. So that means that the letter spacing should be less. Yeah. But like letter forms that are like thinner, you know, right. lighter, they, they're going to have like a like really more, condensed. Right. Yeah. Should be much mm -hmm. thinner. Right. Yeah, less space between. That's a great four. rule for everyone to remember out there. Right. A third of your counter space should be right. your spacing in between letters. Yep. Check. Check. <laughs> <laughs> right. Another rule we now know. Yeah. And we can know when to break it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, so yeah, I kind of. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm. Um, this first one. So like. I'm kind of uh, figuring out if I want certain spaces or not, like here. So mm -hmm. I initially did like uh, indents for this guy, but I'm gonna switch it up instead of that space up between the between my portion and Dynamo's portion. I'm gonna actually do that half an inch indent there, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna apply that um, every other paragraph. So, yeah, nice. kind of like this. Um, but you're gonna see, like, because of the typeface changes and the scale and all that, and then so those are cues that for you to know, like, okay, this is the other sort of portion. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm gonna do. So this is, I mean, I kind of feel like this is pretty good. And then I can just do this thing for me. You're like, that's me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm Puya. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. chose the fun one for yourself. <laughs> I was actually going to do the other. No, I around, like that though. I but... feel like it's, it's great. <laughs> but yeah, just being selfish. <laughs> You're like, it's my design. Yeah, I can do what I, I want. Can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So funny. Yeah. Actually, in, in the actual, uh, in the publication, I kind of did the, uh, um, I actually really like this uh, Pegasus yeah, typeface it's that nice. they did, the serif one. Uh, so I that one um, for my my portion and for them actually I did a grotesque typeface that they did which is also really cool um, it works really well as body copy but, uh, it's, yeah it's, it's lovely. really yeah, it's, it has its own quirks but mm -hmm. it's really legible and it's really like it has a lot of like attitude you can tell. yeah uh, just like any other typeface You're like I love it do. <laughs> <laughs> right so um, yeah so I'm kind of I feel like pretty good about this. Um, I feel like I got the things I want in here. Um, so next thing I want to do is that I want to actually like set up a proper grid based on this. So um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring in my guidelines and I'm going to plop them right in, oh, right in here. And so if I want to use the exact same spacing up here. Hey, Farida, how are you? Welcome. We're with Puya today. We're doing some editorial design. Pretty <laughs> rad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually the same exact space. 
So if you're just joining us, like Farida, we are here with Puya and he is doing some editorial design for Amalgam Magazine. Well, I should say magazine, it's more of a publication, right? Yeah. A uh, journal. Journal, I mean. nice. <laughs> um, he has one here, which is really cool. Uh, and if you guys haven't seen it, uh, you can look on his website, which is amazing. You can find that in the link in his bio. And um, yeah, I'm curious how many of you who are watching are also editorial designers and are maybe following along and doing some editorial design right now. <laughs> Hypno agent says only when I'm asked to. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I would never, ever. They're like, no, not me. <laughs> Thanks, Voodoo Val, for putting up Puya's website. It's amazing. Check it out. <laughs> it's a cool. really good work. Cool. So, um, so I just put together the grid basically mm -hmm. for this guy. Um, and then, um, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a master based on this grid or these guidelines that you see um, mm -hmm. here. So I'm literally gonna select the guides and paste them in my master. Nice. Copy and then up here, I'm just gonna select both. And oh yeah, a little paste in, place. Paste in place. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> those yeah. aren't going anywhere. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's Not one now. Of my favorite features. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So now I can actually just move yeah, those around if you need to. Uh, yeah. Or I mean, I, I was just gonna say like I'm gonna delete these because I don't read need them anymore because I have my master set up. Um, so these can just go away. Um, and so the thing is that, so you might have noticed that um, uh, that this space, this is like a mirrored mm -hmm. sort of thing. So I'm actually, um, if the conversation sort of like starts in this, or the next piece starts on that, on the right side, um, I'm gonna instead of like, because typically you would probably put these always on the right, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna actually move them on the, put them on the left. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's like I said. a little I'm, weird and yeah, different, I like it. Right, yeah. yeah, so I'm just doing some like weird like, things. I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just gonna break them left yeah. and right. Oh, it looks like Anna's joining in the chat. She says she knows you from last semester. Oh, cool. Or okay. she's in your class. Oh, great. Yeah. Hi. Nice, hi. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna, so this is pretty much for the body copy. Mm -hmm. um, so I have my A master set up, and that's really just my, you know, text, my lay, or my body copy right. grid. But next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna actually set up a whole different uh, master for separate elements. Um, so the other elements that I have are, so this is the first one. Um, so I chose the tie faces that I wanted to work with. Mm -hmm. um, I specified the hypographic grid. Uh, I'm going to talk about this image thing later, but um, um, I just want to uh, add a little bit of like extra rules around the um, body copy. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to do is that um, this is this is the part that I uh, talked about earlier that I'm going to set up like parameters. Right. So the idea is that I want to set up random parameters, and the idea is that these random par parameters are going to you know. Uh, come into effect, like as the things move, uh, as the pages, um, you know, move forward. So, like, 
each page is gonna have something that is gonna like react to these parameters. Interesting. Um, so like one of the parameters that I wanna set up here, so aside from this kind of typographic grid, is that I want the typeface change um, every other page. So like, you know, this whatever these typefaces are, mm -hmm. they can stay on the first page and then on the opposite page or in the next page, it's gonna have to change to something else. Um, and so random but controlled. Right. I exactly. like that. So <laughs> Prescriptively like, random. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, systematically or uh, systematic chaos, basically. Um, so I'm gonna do so for this. Based on that rule, I'm gonna change from Pegasus to another typeface. I'm gonna try Monument Grotesque, which is another new release by Dynamo. Nice. So yeah. So it's a great is. font. I'm familiar <laughs> with that one. Yeah, this is a really <laughs> cool, like, sort of new grotesque typeface that they did uh, with uh, a duo a Swiss uh, graphic design studio um, nice. in St. Gallen. Yeah, it's a really cool typeface. So, so that's my an additional um, sort of rule. And I'm gonna come back and fix like some of these, like this widow thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm like, gonna fix don't worry them. about it. Yeah, um, I got a guy for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> like, the guy's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that's one of my rule uh, rules or parameters mm -hmm. aside from the grid. Um, and then the next parameter that I'm gonna do has to do with how images interact with the text. So. Uh, right now, because I haven't really specified how the images are going to be incorporated into this um, uh, layout, um, I'm just going to skip that rule. But generally, I'm going to just tell you that um, whatever, wherever the images pop in, you know, sort of uh, image pages, because I'm going to specify separate pages for the images. Mm -hmm. Those areas are going to be knocked out of this of the text. Oh, the I'm text curious pages. to see what that's going to so, look like. Yeah. yeah, so that's going to create another sort of like random mm -hmm. effect as we move forward with this layout. Nice. Um, so the idea, like, really, this is to just make this layout a lot more dynamic and less kind of like um, rigid, in a way. Um, but by just setting up a very kind of systematic you know, set of rules mm -hmm. that allow for those randomness, mm -hmm. but at the same time, they're not completely random. No, totally. Um, so, yeah, so that's, oh, and the good thing is that I, <laughs> I was automatically going to save <laughs> It's file. like, you need to save yep. this. <laughs> Do you have automatic setup for save? Y no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a problem, funny. right? Um, so, so, chat, I just want to remind you guys to think about that challenge submission. Uh, if you go on the challenge tab, you can find a template to download uh, and using any of the new fonts that are included in Typekit, create a business card and submit it for a chance to win a year subscription of Creative Cloud. Uh, the winner will be announced at the end of the day today. So. The next thing I'm going to focus on is the, the folios. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is that <clears throat> I'm going to make, I'm going to actually create a new master. Nice. And uh, the folio master. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set up, um, I'm just going to, see okay I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna in this previous page I'm just gonna create like figure out where I want to put my folios so like let's say this is you know the hi Sabda welcome thanks for joining us I'm just gonna do a current page number, and I'm just going to scale this guy up. And oh, I'm in front of the page number. I'm going to move. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <I just> <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's getting like, yep. There it is, guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in case you didn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, let's see what typeface you could choose. Um, from their catalog. I'm gonna go back to their website, just look. 
Uh, I really like this grow set because yeah. they have like million variations. Oh um, man, it's it's really cool. Um, so like you can basically do all these kind of like outline strokes and combinations of them. Mm -hmm. um, that's a really cool thing that we could play with. Um, so I might actually try. Is it a variable font? Yeah, well, I think they they do. This actually was released, I think, before variable font. Got it. Was got it. Um, I bet it's variable now. Right, <laughs> but I think it's definitely using oh, nice. some open type features. That is beautiful too. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool typeface, um, and the cool thing is that. Roxanne's like, oh, grow font, yeah. <laughs> and really, it's literally that. Like, I think that's where how they came up with the name because it's really like a combination of combinations, mm -hmm. and it, that's how it kind of grows into this like ginormous family of like so many variations. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's yeah. really limitless too. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. And I think that's the first typeface that they released. That's how they started the Thai Foundry. Mm -hmm. um, and it just made sense for them to just do their own thing because they originally thought maybe they could go with a different Thai Foundry for the release of this mm -hmm. um, typeface. But then they figured this would actually be a good place to start their own nice. thing. So I'm kind of thinking like, you know, maybe it could be like a crazy gigantic <laughs> Uh, folio that usually you don't. Oh yeah, people see. are loving that too. <laughs> yeah, but why not? <laughs> yeah, right. That's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, and then love it. I'm gonna do this guy here on the opposite page. So I kind of like where this is, like where they're placed right now. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing I'm gonna do with these is that. I'm going to set up uh, another sort of parameter around how these are going to function throughout the um, you know, pages. So um, I think what I'm going to do with these is that, OK, I'm just going to copy and paste them in the next page. OK, um, so what I'm going to do is that the rule I'm going to set up for these is that I want them to move around the page, around mm -hmm. the margins of the page. And the page, the one on the page, left page, left side page, um, is going to move clockwise, and the one on the right is going to move counterclockwise. Oh, I love all of these intricate uh, rules. <laughs> random yeah. rules. But random, but not random. Yeah. But not, yeah. 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 Um, so. In order to do that, I'm gonna have to. I'm um, so I'm gonna actually justify some of these things. Um, mm -hmm. So like the you know the scale and totally. Um, you know what you know the actual scale of the type is gonna be. Uh, but I'm gonna create as you can see. I'm gonna create a grid around you know the placement of these or mm -hmm. how what the yeah path exactly is. how much justification right uh, how they're gonna move um, around. The Super. layout. And so I'm good just doing all these. Grids. So, how many of you out there are working in InDesign right now along with us? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> besides us. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Tiffany is. Yay, Tiffany. Lindsay, Roxanne. Nice. Juan maybe is, but he's unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. XD, After Effects. I see that. <laughs> Christina is. A lot of people are working in a design right now. Nice. Yeah, I love InDesign. It's a great application. It really is. I'm more of a Photoshop and an Illustrator yeah. girl myself, but I'm actually definitely full full Illustrator yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Illustrator is great. Too. Yeah, it's my fave. Yeah. <laughs> and it's almost like you can do a lot of the things that you can do in InDesign. Yeah, um, that's so, how I always feel. I'm like, I yeah. can do that, but more. <laughs> right. But then, you know, if you're doing multi-page layout, in designs the jam. <laughs> yeah, definitely like a big publication. I think it is for a small publication, you can still get away with Illustrator. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. 
but um oh people are just loving these numbers oh uh, cool <laughs> nice yeah. so yeah so i'm just kind of like you know trying to figure out finding what... a rhythm <laughs> Specifying the, the grid. Yep. So yeah, I'm just basically trying to figure out how many, you know, numbers I can fit vertically and horizontally because this thing is gonna, you know, they're gonna move around the page. Yeah. Um, well, this is pretty exciting, guys. Uh, there's already some submissions in in the gallery, so keep them coming. Uh, we'll look over them in about 40 minutes or so. So yeah, it's pretty good. Don't forget to design your business cards now. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mohammed. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love it. You're like, I'm breaking these fours. Right. Hey, Mohammed. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in a little bit. Nice. See that it's detail of that yeah. four. That's some beautiful yeah. four action. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Nicely done, Dynamo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so many ways to say Whichever. it. <laughs> yeah, you, all you of guys, them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. All of them. Okay, so I think I got the grid. Um, and then, oh, oops, I missed one thing up here. Actually, I wanted to go further. Yeah, I might use the same guideline up here. Hi Arfin, how are you? Welcome. If you're just tuning in with us now, we're here with Puya and he's making a lot of fours. Right. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I'm he's like, I'm just fouring up over here. All day. <laughs> all day, all yeah, night. Every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doing some editorial design. Yep. Yeah. You know, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so just fine tuning the spacing right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. The. I'm wondering where everybody's from out there. Oh, we're we're doing good, Arfin. Where where are you from? Where are you guys uh where are you guys chatting from? Hi Afroya. Whenever I see these cool names, I'm like, I wonder where they're from. <laughs> Probably San Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not far. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we're right all neighbors. <laughs> ah, Cleveland, Hungary. Oh, cool. cool. Houston, France. Cool. Turkey. Nice. Yeah. Bangladesh. Nice. Great. I love it. So, such a wide audience. Yeah. From all over. Oh, Tatooine. Sure, Voodoo Val. Yeah, man, me too. I'm from the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Missouri. Belgium. Cool. Saudi, but in New York. Nice. Cool. Ecuador. Harlem. Nice. Got people from all over. Yeah. Utah. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Cool. Yeah. Dubai. Nice. That's the second one from Missouri. You guys should meet up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yadira has a question for you. Yes. Do you use a baseline grid? Yes, I do, but it's not like I'm, I use it, but I also break it too. Um, I mean, it's a good s starting point, I think, yeah. especially if you're getting started with like doing layouts and everything. Um, but. Yeah, it's not something that I like stick to it like religiously. Um, I kind of like start with something, but then completely break away. What um, break away? Yeah. From it. Um, 
Well, I think it's like what we were saying in the beginning, like it, right now you're doing more of a loose design layout. Right. And then going back in to put grids after you found the voice. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, like I said, this is kind of like, um, uh, you know, systematic design, but you know, I'm slightly tweaking mm -hmm. the approach to like systems in a way. Um, by introducing um, like uh, parameters that are flexible or create a context for flexibility. Um, so like I said, um, these parameters are kind of random mm -hmm. or seemingly random, but the way I kind of you know built a logic around or using those um, random parameters, um, they allow for some kind of a playful, um, you know, yeah. editorial design. A little bit more fun. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Oh, well, she said thank you. Sure. You're welcome, Yeah, Yudira. of course. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we have people from all over. Oh, Egypt. Cool. Nice. I want to go there. Romania, Germany. Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. The world. Yeah. Some sick grids going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is uh yeah, this is uh, kinda intense. <laughs> you're like you're like, I just made this, this is, really intense. Right. And this is like <laughs> who like ever spent so much time, you know, just for like folios. Like the probably usually the <laughs> simplest part of nah. a you know <laughs> any kind of publication is, you know, figuring out where to put Folios, oh, but. England too, Colombia and the UK, whoa. Nice. That's a great question, Aziz. I I don't know how we can answer that best, but he says, where is graphic design going in the future? <laughs> that's, that's a rough uh, one. That's yeah, like that's, that's like a, a whole epitaph could, could open question. up. <laughs> he's yeah. like, okay, where is publication design going in the future? <laughs> oh, he's, is that what? Is that yes. Now? Okay. You're like, well, I can answer okay. that. That's to say, like, it's, I don't know. You're <laughs> still online? <a> big, <laughs> In your hand? I, mean, I feel like, yeah, I think it's this discussion around, like, uh, print versus digital. Mm -hmm. I think that's, like, something that has been. It's always going to be yeah, a discussion, right. I think. Yeah. But I feel like, generally, um, I think for print, a, a lot of, you know, people think that it's actually um, not going to be as popular, but I think. I, I would disagree. I think I do too. there's going to be an art more. Piece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to be scenarios where you know, then things that you think are would be you know worthy of print then are going to be printed and maybe like limited editions mm -hmm. uh, or like with these like print on demand. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there's like all these like things that are happening on the side mm -hmm. which actually make it. Um, Almost better because it's fewer. There's less of it, so that yeah. means that's more more important precious. for it to be yeah. good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so quality. that would be right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I like yeah. that. Asim says, "I think print builds trust." I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's actually an interesting point. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so yeah. Nice. Um, so we got a four, a five, and a lot of grid. Right. I like it. Uh, really intense <laughs> grid. And then, so what I'm gonna do is that this is gonna be our second master. So I'm literally gonna copy this guy um, and oh, go yeah. back. yeah, new master, folio master. Here, yep. And then I'm gonna just pop it there. Um, nice. And then I can just get rid of the stuff I created here. And this ah, is you're welcome, ready. Aziz. Bye, Arfin. Thanks for joining us. Awesome. So, yeah, so this is going to be the grid for our um, folios. And so what I'm going to do is that, so when I'm laying things out, um, so as I go through each step, I'm mm -hmm. just going to use the appropriate grid and apply those to the page and then reapply the other, you know, grid nice. or reapply the other masters as I need them. Awesome. Um, but um, yeah, so too many panels. <laughs> <laughs>
Amazing. Yes. Yeah, so the challenge submission deadline is a little less than 30 minutes. And you guys can download the template if you haven't already done so on the challenge tab. And that will help you to create a business card, make a logo, use some new fonts, and then submit for your chance to win. Uh, the winner will be announced at the end of the day today, and then we'll show the winner tomorrow morning in our first session. So that'll be pretty exciting. Do a little recap of who won. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay, my right click is not working. Okay, so I just created a new, or another spread. And so here, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back to our um, agenda. Um, I like I'm gonna, this, yeah. program management, yeah. <laughs> just keep track of things. You're um, like, what's next on the list? All right, what's next? <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, running titles, I'm just gonna add those. Cool. And, but, before adding them, I'm just gonna see where would be a place to add them. So I'm thinking, um, all right, I'm just gonna create. Um, so this section is called conversation. And I'm just gonna do all caps. Um, conversation with Dynamo. Oh. Hey David, welcome. Yes, it's editorial design week, not just day. We're gonna be here tomorrow and the next day too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like editorial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're like, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh snap. <laughs> <laughs> it's editorial day. <laughs> I love it. Oh, are we doing a new font? Nice. Oh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> You're so, like, maybe. Like, too many, too many fonts. <laughs> it's okay. kind of fun, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I might um, use something a little subtle. I'm going to actually use Monument for these two. Um, Thanks, Voodoo Val. They're all cheering. They're like, yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know Dynamo? Did we ask this already? I think so, yeah. Okay. And then it's funny, um, Katie just said, people think editorial design is boring, but it gives her life. And I was like, nice. yeah, it does. Because when yeah, you see things that are passion. really cool, <laughs> you know, like yeah. it, especially when you have a nice coffee table book that's worth reading, yeah. man, it changes everything. It's true. Yeah. And Tiffany said it's her favorite thing. And that's great. <laughs> Agreed. Same. Yeah. So Voodoo's like, it's surprisingly satisfying. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think all of the making rules and breaking rules is slightly cathartic, you know? It's yeah. like, yeah, the whole Definitely. time. It's also a very good practice for any type of design because uh, you have to be very detail oriented. Exactly. Right. But you have to also like constantly challenge yourself. Totally. Yeah, yeah. because you can't just make a, something average. It's right. like everyone just, looks like, through a newspaper and they right, know exactly. what to expect. Yeah. 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 Totally. I think that's the hardest part is that until it's done, it doesn't look like anything. Uh -huh. You know, it's like it's words and it's like, no, it's not. Right. <laughs> Keep with us, guys. This is more than just words. Right. This is editorial. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, so I just, I got my um, running titles here. Um, nice. I might actually change. Actually, the right way to have these guys is to. I know there's a lot of people agreeing them. that it is a way of life. Yes, Justin, editorial, the way of life. Yep. It could be a tattoo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Angelica wonders what you do in your free time. Do you have any hobbies? <laughs> um, besides I, cooking. <laughs> besides cooking? Yeah. Cooking is a big deal for me. Like, I cook all day. 
all day. Yeah, all day, <laughs> every day. Um, I um, I like to read a lot. I I mean, whenever I get a chance to read, and I usually, <laughs> I am a like I buy a lot of books, which is not good. <laughs> That's a heavy. Yeah, that's a heavy habit. Especially if you move <laughs> yeah. a lot, it's not like I was I, just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I've been moving around a lot, like yeah. almost every year the past couple it's years. It's an expensive move. It's, yeah, it's really ex- it's very heavy and it's just not convenient. Yeah. Um, uh, Diojo, if you're interested in participating in the portfolio review, all you need to do is submit your portfolio uh, on day three for the challenge, and you have a chance to. Get your work reviewed by one of the four participants here today. So it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So polish that portfolio. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, it's looking cool. All right. So, yeah, so these guys are going to be always there. I'm not, so this is maybe the only thing that I'm not going to change and I'm gonna actually move it to our master because they're gonna be there forever um, and You're like forever yes <laughs> eternal master <laughs> eternal master <laughs> definitely yeah. and I'm gonna also paste it in my so in all my masters basically I'm just gonna paste them and yeah they're gonna be there Nice. And go back here. Um, so we added, I'm just, I got rid of one of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I could still put it. I just feel like it's getting a little busy. Um, so I'm just gonna just keep these two. But that was basically Johannes and Fabian, um, the founders of uh, Dynamo. Nice. Um, I'm just going with these two for now and see if it wasn't too busy. I might put those back in. Cool. But um, yeah, so yeah, next thing. I want to do, um, so yeah, I'm not going to do a separate grid for those two things just because they're mm -hmm. basic and they're going to always be there. Um, but the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to figure out how I'm going to handle the images for this interview. So I have a whole bunch of um, images here that I got from Dynamo. Oh, nice. And these are like Beautiful. their work. Um, you know, and sort of like just super. Oh, up. these are gonna be fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. they're really cool images. Um, totally. So I'm gonna do like all kinds of, you know, play with these guys. Oh, hey, Rufus! Hey. Uncle Rufus is in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I like your haircut. <laughs> Maybe you should show everybody. <laughs> Yeah, come say hi, so they know that I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rufus hey, is everyone. here. He got hi. a haircut. Check this out. Hi, oh. it's so good to see you. <laughs> it's nice. Nice hair. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Voodoo Bell's like, Uncle Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> Hector says hello. <laughs> everyone says hello. <laughs> ah, so good. Amazing. I think we were just getting through. Oh, good. You're putting photos in. Exciting. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm just going to um, basically figure out how I'm going to deal with the images. Um, like, so, I got to deal with these, man. <laughs> yeah. There's uh, too many things to deal with. <laughs> Always. But, uh, well, yeah. it's a lot to pack in an editorial. I think exactly. that's the more difficult right. thing. In design, you can be minimal. Right. But in editorial, there's things that you can't. There's really always like so many let go of. of yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Unless you're the editor, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like you can put as many things as you want, um, or get rid of as many things as you want. But um, yeah, so um, so one thing that um, Dynamo actually did for me is that they specified which images should um, go with big part of the conversation mm -hmm. so that's a great outline for me so I can just really just use that as my baseline and uh, just go and figure out how I'm gonna set up a grid or nice. um, 
a sort of parameter around these imagery. Cool. Um, so again, here, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up with another sort of random parameter mm -hmm. for the imagery. Uh, and that is, I'm going to build a three by three uh, cells grid. Mm. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to create a new master. Justin actually had an interesting question. Yes. Uh, does dragging images into InDesign rather than placing them affect the resolution or anything in regards to printing? I haven't noticed any difference, no. Yeah, I haven't either. I think it's just a, a different way preference. to import. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. preference. Mm -hmm. Either drag or place or, yeah. As long as that link's not broken, right. <laughs> then it doesn't matter. Right, yeah, I think there's no, it shouldn't be, there yeah. shouldn't be any difference um, totally. in that sense. But yeah, so I'm just I just created a master. I'm cool. going to create guides here, and like I said, this is uh, sort of a random parameter that I'm mm -hmm. creating just for the images. Um, and like I said, they're going to have a separate grid. Um, so basically, I'm using three different grids um, nice. that are associated with different three different uh, elements throughout the publication. I love this. It's a challenge um, within a challenge. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah. of challenge, you guys better make your business cards out yeah. there <laughs> so that you can submit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Okay. So, um, I'm going to activate the preview. Nope. Wrong way. Um, so, like I said, it's going to be a three by three um, grid, and I'm not going to have any margins. Um, I'm just going to let the images sort of bleed. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And this is basically my um, image grid. Nice. And so, so this is really the starting point. I just am applying that to the to this new uh, spread that I created. Um, so on top of that, I want to come up with an additional rules or mm -hmm. parameters that I want to add um, in terms of to this sort of like uh, image portion or image um, uh, sort of part of the publication. And is that rule is basically that, or those rules are first um, images are going to take uh, get their own separate spread. Um, and then everything that I'm going to be laying out are going to start from the t top left corner mm -hmm. and are going to move across, go across the spread. So I'm just counting from top left corner. Um, and I'm then so count excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you know, just go from top left corner to bottom right corner. And I'm going to place the images, and this is the logic based mm -hmm. on which I'm going to place the images. I'm going to um, with the first uh, set of imagery or images that I have for this publication, I'm going to start from the top left corner, um, place the first image there. I'm going to top align the images to the cells. Mm -hmm. And the other rule is that I'm going to skip three cells and then place the next image. So, I love how complicated these rules are. Right. And then I, I can imagine that with the rules combined, mm -hmm. that's how you get some of the really crazy layouts exactly. that they look like um, really hard to produce that right. randomly. And yeah. it, it would be hard to randomly just produce that over exactly. and over again in a layout. But when you put, is this what you're, is yeah. this, yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm <laughs> going for. I was like, forward. ah, yeah, that's no, so that's cool. Yeah, that's great, yeah. Yeah, multiple random <laughs> rules combined right. exactly. creates like, yeah. Organized chaos. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going for. So I'm going to I want to create something that you would not create uh, mm -hmm. if you had this kind of sort of like traditional rigid, you know, typographic grid yeah. that everything like images and, you know, t type follows this kind of rigid grid. Instead, I'm d doing this. I still use grids, but I'm kind of like um, coming up with certain, you know, parameters on top of it. And these totally. parameters, like I said they're completely random. Yeah. They're not like any kind of like sort of like this because you know it has to you know do this kind of thing. I love um, it. Eric's like pro tip. <laughs> I'm like yes pro tip. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, amazing. So yeah so I'm just gonna go, go over the rules uh, again because uh, I'm gonna yeah. add one more rule to this whole thing. So um, 
images are going to take their own spread. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with the top left corner um, for you know each spread where I'm laying out the images, and then I'm going to count three. I'm going to skip three cells, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to place the Got next it. image. And whatever my last image is for that section, that gets to stretch out all the way to the right. Oh, I like this. Okay, cool. So like. So adding a little bit more rule to the rule. <laughs> exactly, right. So <laughs> that way I also get to have like one image that could be re really big depending on where right. it falls. So like if this was here and if I, if I went off of this rule. So it would go, it go all the way to the right. right. Oh, love this. Yeah. So okay, this is cool, yeah. Position like this, that makes but. total sense. And you're not trying to fit them vertically within the grid that you're creating. Right. Yeah. You're letting that actually just go natural. Yeah. So if it was a square yeah. photo or yeah. vertical, whatever the photo right. format is, you're not altering it. Exactly. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. That will help to even make it more random. Right. <laughs> but controlled. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Control. This is like, great. Or, yeah. We're gonna, or systematic chaos, basically. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I mean, you're going to get all kinds of random. <laughs> Layouts. Yeah, but it won't be random. Right. Well, it will be random, right. but it'll um, be controlled. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. Oh, man. So. There's like a whole mind meld going on <laughs> over here. I hope you guys are following along. Yeah, because are you guys following? If you guys are doing these rules at home, right. I want to see all this stuff. That could yeah. be really cool. Yeah, you could submit it to him. Got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to add the... So I have two more images for this section to add. Um, so I'm just adding the sky which is the next one. So uh, good. It's gigantic. Um, so again, like skip one, So it fits one, two, until three. it doesn't fit. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right. And then, so if I, so you might ask, I don't know if anyone asked this, but if you ran out of space here, you basically go back to the first cell, start counting. Got it. Um, so I haven't gotten there yet, but. So this is my third and my fourth image. It's gonna be this. So skip one, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna place it here. And then okay. So this is where you kind of have to make a decision. Like uh -huh. if you wanna crop it here, um, if you want to, you know, adjust maybe some things. So right, like, right. You know, I'm just gonna maybe do something like this because it'd probably make more sense to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so this is my last image, so I stretch it all the way, um, and this is basically gonna be my layout That's for cool. the imagery uh, or the image sort of pages. It just happens to be three images on one side and one tiny one on the other side. I love it. <laughs> um, and. Yeah, so so these are basically all the rules or parameters that mm -hmm. I set up for this publication. Um, as you can see here, um, and so the three by three, um, and so the order is clockwise, like I said, yeah. top of corner and skip this actually is three. Great. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Three. So do yeah. you have a whole list of rules that you kind of keep in the background that you then sometimes will put together in the same document? Like you'll pull different rules and just kind of, oh, that's you know, like kind question. of pick out a yeah. hat, you know, you like randomly pick out rules <laughs> to like create something with? No, nah, I mean, you're, that you're could be really general. Fun. Yeah. 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 No, that's actually a really cool idea. I haven't, yeah. I didn't think about that. But huh. yeah, that's like a really interesting idea to like actually have some kind of like preset totally. rules and yeah. then kind of like, you know, oh, mismatch. Totally, yeah. <laughs> or, I don't know, mismatch. <laughs> yeah, just like, like pick five yeah, and then you have to do a design with them. Yeah. That would be a very um, yeah. fun and controlled yeah. Yeah, totally. and constricting project. Right. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, no, that's cool. a really interesting idea actually. Well, you um, guys have a little less than 10 minutes to submit your challenge deadline. Uh, or submit your challenge for the deadline. <laughs> um, hopefully, you, I've definitely seen a lot come in, so this is exciting. Uh, there's some good entries out there. And we'll be having Puya look at them uh, and give some nice critique, which yeah. is always the most fun part. <laughs> sure, yeah, looking forward. Um, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna go, so these are basically my rules. I'm gonna go uh, and apply the rules. I'm gonna bring in the content, apply these rules, and just like, start, you know, to, start to actually create the layouts. Nice. Um, and then once it's done, I'm gonna go back and refine all the details and such. Um, like ragging and you know like details of the type and placement and such if there's any kind of problematic situation but but like I said this is gonna be I'm setting up the system knowing that it's gonna create some conflicts mm -hmm. so you might say like well oh yeah this thing is gonna actually like run into these things and they're gonna like overlap they're gonna create some messy situations I'm actually aware of this and that's why I'm setting up the grid this way mm -hmm. I want them to I want the elements to actually collide Oh, nice, um, yeah. So that's kind of part of it. But then you're going to see I'm going to get around it and, like, you know, certain, you know, it's based on the situation, I'm going to figure out what's best to mm -hmm. handle um, nice. that particular case. Super cool. But, um, yeah, so like I said, I'm what I'm doing right now is that um, I place those page numbers um, on our first page and the second page, or the second and the third, um, on the corners, uh, bottom left and bottom right. Mm -hmm. And like I said, one is going to move clockwise and then the other one is going to move counterclockwise. So um, this would be what is going to happen. This is what is going to happen um, in the following pages. Pages, you know, the um, page number four and page number five. And you can, okay, I'm going to copy and paste them in the following. Nice. And what I'm going to do and is that. And now we're doing the rotation. Right. Cool. Um, I'm going to apply the, so like you can see, like I just applied the folio mm -hmm. grid to this page. And I'm just like moving up, you know. The so will they grid. overlap at some point? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. They're going to overlap. So I'm not going to really worry about this case uh -huh. just because this is a running title. You know what like it is. I like it, yeah. Uh, and it's just kind of like a fun accident. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to let it be. Um, and I'm just gonna. Connect. I'm kind of curious uh, with the chat. Have you guys done design where you set up rules like this for yourself, and how how has it gone? Like I'm curious. I think I think you have to be really strict in order for it to mm -hmm. feel like yeah. it's gonna work and yeah. look not like a mistake, but yeah. you know, like like educated design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually kind of. It's uh, as beautiful. Random as, yeah. it, as it is, it's actually kind of difficult to uh, come yeah. up with, you know, kind of because you have to like have to take a guess, mm -hmm. uh, but like a sort of like calculated guess. Yeah. So it's not like completely random. Like I said, it's there's a balance of like randomness and sort of like um, controlled, you know. Totally. Um, well, sort of like situation. I think it comes down. We were talking about this earlier with Sunny. In, in her session that it's kind of mathematics yeah. and that you really have to be kind of a math brain yeah. in order to do the design because you're first starting with breaking things up right. in like, you know, chunks and sections and right. then it can be more random. Be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, this is like, you can approach like editorial design so many different ways and it's really like, it really depends on what your goal is, um, what you want to achieve. Like for me, Eric says you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, you're like, thanks, man. No thanks, big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Controlled but, uh, randomness. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. Right. Um, uh, yeah, and Christoph says he loves the design. Thanks. Learning a lot. This is great. So we have like how much? Do we have five minutes? Should I keep? Uh, yeah, we've got moving? five minutes. Yeah, let's yeah, keep going. Okay, cool. I know. Yeah, yeah that will give sure them like some time to, yeah. you know, keep submitting their cards, cool. and we're gonna take a look at those. All right. And then we'll have a couple minutes to just wrap up after that. So, nice. Yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Nice. Um, okay. Then I'm just gonna move forward with these guys. So next thing I'm gonna actually do. Um, so, okay, so this is the tricky thing about this. Um, typically, you would create a um, paragraph style. Uh -huh. um, that's the proper way to do it. Just because of the way I'm approaching 
this design, it doesn't really make sense for me to create a paragraph style mm -hmm. because, as you, as I told you, I'm going to keep changing the typeface right. as every, I'm going. For, every page. Right, yeah. every page. So, like, next thing that I'm actually putting here is my, you know, answer or my um, portion after they responded to my first question. So this is my second question. And here, I mean, I can just use the eye drop mm -hmm. and just, you know, use this first thing um, that I have here. Um, and I use the style, but like I said, every other page is gonna be a different typeface. So like, so if the paragraph here, carries over, will it break right. into something new? Yeah. Uh, so like in this case, like, so from page three to page four, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna change the typeface, but like the following page. So the page that is on the Got right it. is always gonna be, a, you know, the page that rotates or like changes. Um, cool. And the page on the left is gonna be the one that always stays whatever. Whatever it previous, was, the previous page. Yeah, Got exactly. it. Okay. So yeah, it and this is over. complicated. Yeah, no, I love it though. It's <laughs> it's interesting yeah, to like. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know the rules though, so yeah, you know. Kind of intuitive. Yeah. <laughs> We're making them up. Right, I mean, like, yeah, I don't totally. know the rules. I'm learning the rules. I, yeah, just kind of like <laughs> figuring out as you go. Hi, Olani. How are you? Welcome. I know you just joined, but you have two minutes to submit a challenge, so you better. <laughs> better start working. <laughs> They're like, ah! <gasps> <laughs> okay, so how so. long do you think the editorial, how many pages are you planning on it being? Um, I actually have no plans for this. Nice. So it could <laughs> so be like is, 40 pages long. Right, yeah. Or it, it could, could be, be seven. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is kind of, that's actually kind of like the fun thing about, you know, the p publication that yeah. I'm doing, but the, the amalgam is that I kind of like, this is how I kind of approach it. Like I set up these like random rules and I just kind of let it play, mm -hmm. play those rules out. And I don't restrict myself with like the number of pages. Actually, that it's it's a really interesting exercise. Yeah. Just because usually like when you do a publication and you have like a certain like number of pages that you can't go beyond. Exactly. But just because I'm doing like all well, the- since it's yours. Yeah, yeah it's you're like, I'm, I'm my not own client. restricted <laughs> by that right. stuff. Yeah, so I just do whatever <laughs> I want basically. Totally. <laughs> But that's kind of nice. Yeah. There's a little bit of freedom there. I think yeah. that's maybe the only freedom you give yourself. Basically, yeah. So <laughs> is I the don't page number. To, right. <laughs> You're like, yeah, everything else is to, rigid. Right. <laughs> except, <laughs> except for. Yeah, totally. Right. So, oh, amazing. Um, yeah, again, like I'm going to go back to the Namos website and see like what other typeface I'm going to use for this other one uh, profit is really nice. I really yeah, like. I like Pareto. Pareto. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I can actually go for that. Let's go for yeah. Pareto. We're gonna go for that. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Circular and yeah. so good. Yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna keep the sizes the same, but uh -huh. I'm just gonna change just the change it. typeface. Nice. So, but um, depending on like what that type is is I might have to actually tweak the space. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one's because, a little bit more difficult to right. read. It still works. Yeah, because this is actually, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but this is a reverse contrast typeface. Um, yeah, so, it's hard to read those. Right, in, exactly. Uh, in text and body. Right, so this is not meant to be a text typeface. So, no. Um, but like I said, I'm kind of like breaking. <laughs> The totally. rules that I've left on You're right. like, I'm breaking the rules that I just created? <laughs> right. No big um, deal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's, yeah. So you can see like the emphasis is on the horizontal axis as opposed to the vertical axis with Latin typefaces. Yes, yes. It's always. One of my favorites is Buffon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a friend of mine that I had recently nice. hung out with, uh, yeah. Dave. He had made that. Uh, he's so good. But I, I'd never <laughs> even really heard of reverse contrast until I saw that. And I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really cool. Yeah. Like I feel like it's one of the genres that is actually coming back in style again. Um, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, so it's. Uh, so the challenge is deadline has been hit. So that means you guys need to uh, get everything in there, and we're gonna open up and take a look. Let's see. All right, I'm going to get my screen ready so that we can 
take a look at these submissions. All right, cool. So are we ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We can switch over to my screen. Awesome. Okay, guys, well, you have some awesome submissions coming in, and I appreciate everyone getting them in on time. Let's take a look at the first one. It's Lucas Ramos. Nice. So. Yeah. It's a nice color. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I like the, I also like the background. Um, I'm also wondering, so are they, um, wondering if they're the, like, front and back, is that? It looks like front and back. And right. And if it's easier, they're a little bit larger here, too, oh, for I see. you to see. Yeah, yeah. If you want. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it would be maybe, so one thing, I, if I were to change anything, mm -hmm. I would um, probably let that um, sort of that beautiful pattern that you have in the background to be on the back side and maybe keep one side simple and one side maybe like a little bit like more like um, sort of all the information, most of the information on one side and mm -hmm. then the other side could be like a lot simpler, like it could have that background, mm -hmm. but also maybe like the, the logo. Right, maybe um, only one logo, right, not on yeah, both sides. Right. Yeah. Um, so like, kind of like figure out where you actually want to have the main content or the main information, mm -hmm. and you know where you want to, and sort of differentiate them a little bit so that the front and back, like that, those, like, I think the the large numbers that you're using are really nice, but I would probably keep them on one side and not on both right. sides. Yeah, I like the warped numbers. I think that's yeah, pretty that's, cool. Yeah, that's really cool. It's, it's a yeah. nice play on the front. On, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's really nice. Very cool. All right. Uh, this is another one by Lucas Ramos. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I think... Uh, Ram Ramos. Yeah, the, um, the logo is really nice. I think mm -hmm. one thing that could be maybe, um, could maybe focus on is the placement of... Um, you know, the information mm -hmm. on the front. So right now it seems like they're kind of centered, but they're not really centered. Right. Um, and that might be a little like... Um, a little difficult right, for the eye. Right, yeah. yeah. So like maybe like figure that out. And also you could also make it, make the layout of that side a little bit more dynamic. Right now it seems like it's very sort of like centered. Mm -hmm. um, but. Yeah, yeah, it could compared be. Compared to the other side, maybe mm -hmm. a rule yeah. <laughs> for yeah. either centering everything right. or left aligning. Yeah, exactly. We like aligning. rules today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they have to be random. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this is a steam rye. Oh, nice. Nice, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I really like that. That a Fibonacci. Oh yeah. <laughs> thing yep. going on. Oh that's yes, great. it is. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, I like how you kind of set up the type um, on the right, and you have like this sort of like white space in between, and it's a nice sort of um, clean layout. And then, yeah, I'm call almost thinking like maybe the back back of the card could be just the logo mm -hmm. that you're using that wedge thing, um, and then maybe the name. Or whatever that name of the uh, the business name or whatever that is yeah. could be just on the other side with the rest of the elements. Yeah, I would say in the the type is a little bit tight at the bottom, right. uh, as far as the letting. But right, it, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. Who's next? Santiago Rodriguez Mestera. What a nice name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also really nice. I like the pattern. Yeah. That you create it. It's really cool. It's I like optical. the font choice too. Yeah. It's very yeah. different from all the other ones that we've yeah. seen so far. Yeah, I know that's nice. Yeah, I think again, like this is um, is a preference, uh, but you could also think about maybe like um, instead of centering the type, what else you could do with it, like create mm -hmm. more. So I think that the the scale difference is nice. Con it's a nice contrast, but. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be also like the placement of the element as opposed to like being everything being centered. Maybe yeah. like could be a little bit more spread out and more dynamic. Yeah, I like the kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is that their profession yeah. or is yeah. that just like kind a, of person? They're kind of person, right. you know? Yeah. That's kind of. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> this is Sally Billman. Ooh. De Zig, De Zig, Design Delight. <laughs> All right. Well, first I would say that that N, we can't quite read it there. Yeah. So, 
Maybe just pumping that up a little bit. Yeah. Design. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I, I couldn't see it at first. I was like, yeah. oh, that's design. Yeah. But Dzig's kind of cool, too. <laughs> yeah, I like how radical this yeah. is. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I like the, also like how you're, I know what that shape, the green uh -huh. shape is, but it's, it's interesting how it kind of leads your eyes to like the rest of the information. You kind of start down there and you kind of like go and that kind of you follow that hierarchy yeah. um, all the way to the bottom. It's where wild. The phone number is. Cool. Michael Wainwright. Mm -hmm. Our FD print. Yeah. Um, um, there's a lot was, going on. Yeah, I think yeah. there's uh, maybe like kind of maybe like Re removing some of the elements that you're using, like for instance, I mean the gradient I think is really nice, but maybe drop shadow could be taken away, or or if you're like if you really want to use like the imagery, like that butterfly, um, you could maybe sort of uh, figure out where it, it it could be sort of placed that it's right. not um, <clears throat> it's not so busy. You know, you could again mm -hmm. keep one side busy and another yeah, or side. Yeah, maybe like, even removing the leaves so that it's right. easier to read. Right. Yeah. I think kind of going back to that minimalism that you were talking yeah. about in the very yeah. beginning. Yeah, I think you can keep it simple at the beginning and figure out what the hierarchy is, where the elements should be placed, and you know, uh, what 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 are the elements that are more important, and then from there you can you know. Uh, tweak things to mm -hmm. make them like more complicated but always I think it's always good to start with something more simple totally a sim rye oh another one cool but this Fibonacci. one's like kind of the opposite mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if that was happening right in the same oh, time yeah. you're giving <laughs> feedback <laughs> I know yeah that's cool he's like I know <laughs> I'll do this yeah no, this is really nice. Yeah, I think I like this iteration actually better than I the first one. I think I do one. too. Yeah, it's really nice. Also because I see multiple images in the reflected, um, in the Fibonacci, reflected, right. yeah, <laughs> on yeah, the back. Right. That's nice. Yeah, that's great. I'm fine. Let's see. Mohammed Aid. Cool. I'm gonna try and oh, I can't get this one any larger. It looks like real size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would first thing that I thought was that you might, you don't really need probably to re repeat the logo on both sides. Maybe you can keep it on the back mm -hmm. and you can, instead you can figure out a nice, uh, interesting dynamic layout for the front side. So like moving some of the elements maybe to the right side and keeping some of them to the, you know, to the left, come up with some, um, you know, hierarchically interesting layout yeah. for that side. Yeah, I'm interested in what uh, font they used for Mazil. It's it's a it's a new one too that we see today out of all of the ones that have been submitted. Cool. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I can't see it. Really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't see it, yeah, but you know, if, yeah. if you're watching, Mohammed, chime in and tell us which font you used. <laughs> yep. And it says Tiffany Andrea nice. Andrian Yaha Yaka. Cool. Oh, man, I know I messed that up. <laughs> I tried, Tiffany. I tried. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like uh, I like the yeah. interesting this layout and just simplicity of the black and white, um, and the hierarchy of the elements. I think she's it's, like it's a Malagasy name. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> thanks. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how this is a bit of a calling card. If you can't read it from there, it says, I would oh. love to work with you. Oh. Hey, look, you could have somebody work with you. This oh, is great. Cool. <laughs> that was clever, great. Tiffany. Yeah. <laughs> we see what you did there. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, it's nice, though, the um, cropping of the back and the logo. Yeah. I think that's the, a nice way to do it. Definitely. Cool. This is Joe Cook. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, again, like with this one, I would, I think it's nice to just see that illustration on the back without all these like logos and things covering it, uh, and maybe like all the information on the other side. Um, or maybe if you really want them together, I would find a way that 
you know, these this, the logo could actually interact with the um, mm -hmm. illustration in oh, a yeah. more kind of interesting way instead of like just putting them on top of the illustration because I think the illustration is actually really nice, um, but I feel like the logo is kind of taking away from it mm -hmm. by just crop covering it. Um, so yeah, um, the gray be... also feels a little heavy mm -hmm. with the combination of the bright colors on the front. Yeah, it could. Um, maybe on one side use it and maybe not on the other. Right. It's nicely done. Yeah. Ah, Christoph van Proyen. Fancy. Very fancy. Yeah. KVP. <laughs> cool. The little missing letters here, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Oh, and there's some rulers on the back just in case you need to measure something. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Um, it would probably like close the gap between the K and the V. It seems mm -hmm. like that space is a little too big. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the, yeah, it's a really nice way of kind of like simplifying the letter form to the minimum like recognizable mm -hmm. shapes. Um, yeah, and the, on the other side, I would probably, instead of doing a center layout, I would mm -hmm. probably think about something more dynamic. Yeah. Again. Um, just try to come up with, you know, maybe just a simple three, three column grid and just like um, separating the, the information and placing them in, you know, different areas uh, yeah. and see how they, you can come up with something dynamic, but like different pieces balance each other out in terms of the, you know, uh, the placement and, you know, the uh, just general way layout. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. Some nice drop shadow in there too. It's a little hard to see on our screen, oh, but oh, it's I see. Yeah, I nicely can. done. Cool. And then Chloe Sawyer. Uh -huh. Parrot speech therapy. Cute. <laughs> I like that parrot. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would kind of maybe say that. <laughs> Similar thing, I would separate, I, I, I would either separate that illustration from the typography mm -hmm. um, and just put the typography on the, the other side but together with the rest of the information. Um, or again, like I figure, I would figure out a better way to have the typography, you know, um, interact with the, with the illustration. Mm -hmm. And maybe one other thing that you can think about is like how the color combination works. Yeah, maybe no color with the parrot logo and reverse it because mm -hmm. it's a lot of color to do together. Right. It might be difficult to print and yeah. it might blur and start to not be as yeah. brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and maybe some space in between the logo and the type on the right. parrot speech therapy. Definitely. Nice. It was a good job overall, though. Mm hmm Nice. And then Linda Friday. Oh, vertical. Great name. So they're, these are like the... Yeah, these, the back, I think, right? are front and back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, so La like, Friday. Oh, I was trying to read <laughs> oh, it. I was like, La it, Friday. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a nice play with that exclamation. Yeah, that's um, fun. Thing, right? Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, and I like that you're kind of like going with a vertical layout. Totally. Um, it's interesting, but yeah, I think it's, I like how you're also breaking that left Friday or LA Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what yeah. it is. Um, <laughs> uh, but like having that indent um, and then how you're lining up the three separate other pieces at the bottom with yeah. those. I think that's a nice way. The only problem I think is that that end, it's like the placement in general, um, it's not clear whether the intention is to center the information at the bottom or is it like trying to line up mm -hmm. those elements with what's happening on the top part. So I would try to maybe try to avoid the centering sort mm -hmm. of effect and try to more try to focus on connecting these elements by just, you know, lining them up mm -hmm. in an interesting way that it doesn't immediately suggest that, oh, these are centered. Um, yeah, I agree. Something more dynamic. I also like that Friday is really pronounced with the exclamation point. Yeah. I don't know if you need it twice in creative. Yeah. 
yeah. You could probably right, just yeah. let Friday be yeah, really be exciting. One. Right. And then let creative be normal. Right. This is nice. It's fun. Cool. Yeah. Nice job, Linda. Agnes Schmatz. Cool. Oh, this one's way different than all the others. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like the drawings. Yeah. Are those, I wonder if they're there. Yeah, drawings. Agnes, if you're watching, let us know. Are these your drawings? Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, um, they're cool. Yeah, again, I think the cool thing, uh, of course, the illustration is the, the strongest part. Mm -hmm. What I would do is that I would try to make the type more interact with more with the illustration as opposed to like separate itself from it. Mm -hmm. So like how would, if you got rid of that box, scale the letter forms and then try to like have maybe the letter forms to interact with the illustration, like let them go a bit look behind or, mm -hmm. you know, um, above the, you know, these like leaves or Oh, it looks like those are Agnes's drawings. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Really well nice. done, Agnes. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. And I guess, you know, like, even though it's very minimal, if you don't want anyone contacting you, but only <laughs> online or like only yeah. on Instagram, yeah. then yeah. <laughs> just an at sign is yeah. enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> just don't call me, okay? Right. Don't even try. <laughs> just find me on yeah. Insta. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well,. That was a lot of submissions. I'm really cool. impressed with how many you guys got nice. done in such yeah. a quick amount of time. That's great. There's some really nice ones in here. Cool. So as we'd said earlier, uh, we're going to have a winner that's announced at the end of the day today. So around 5 o'clock, I would say check your, keep checking your uh, email and you'll get something in your behunts from Adobe Live. So stay tuned and look. Um, in the meantime, I think we have about 10 more minutes or so, so we can take a look at what we're gonna do tomorrow. Sure. Yeah, yeah it'd be great. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, so we pretty much specified all the parameters for the publication. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, can we go through those parameters again? Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of rules that I'm pretty stoked about. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch of rules um, we set up uh, today. That's all basically what we did. Mm -hmm. So we figured out what our typographic rate is. Oh, maybe um, you can show them too in the visual of what the rules turned out to be. Yeah, because it's oh, really sure. cool to see it in the. Sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we specified the the type of uh, the typographic grid. Um, so this is where our text is gonna appear, as you can see here. Um, nice. And we set up some rules around it. Um, so we said that the type sizes for the question and the answer are going to be two different type sizes. Um, and the page on the left is always going to stay the same type size, and the page on the right, the typeface is going to always change. Um, so that's the other rule that we kind of set up um, for this publication. And the other thing that we did is that we uh, placed our running titles in the right corner on the right page or on the right side of the right page. And those are the elements that are fixed or the you know, like well, only fixed elements. Um, and the next thing that we did is that we set up a typographic grid, a separate typographic grid for the folios. Uh, and those are gonna, this, this, is a, this is a grid. And like I said, <coughs> the rule around it is that the folios are gonna actually move in um, the one on the left side page is going to move clockwise and the one on the right side page is going to move counterclockwise and they're basically going to rotate. They're going to start to run into each <laughs> run other. It, yeah. Are they going to rotate just around the perimeter or are they going to go in? Uh, they're going to just run around. Yeah, it's just so basically like this um, Got area. it. So not like a spiral. Right. Yeah. So or it's a just snail. Gonna, yeah. yeah. But it could. Around. Yeah, it could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. They could. I was like, but we could change that yeah, rule. Yeah, we could change that rule. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because uh, yeah, then a page number would be in the middle. In the middle, yeah. And it'd be like kind of really wild. Cool. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to. So oh, like, man, we're thinking about it right now. Yeah, it's going to yeah. snail. Yeah. It'll yeah. snail instead of clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because then yeah, it's like going to have to like start over, though. Yeah, I was going to think. That could be cool. Yeah, I mean, like if it. Finish. Then it would just go come up kind of yeah. like backwards. Oh, uh, good, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Nice. Um, I like that. That's cool. See how excited That's you got about more, another rule? Yeah, know, <laughs> he was like, like, oh, a new rule. Yeah. <laughs> Let's add it to the yeah, list of right. rules. <laughs> yeah. We don't have enough. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then, yeah, so the, and the last one that we added was, um, 
yeah, just a, oh, another yeah. creative photo for roll. the images. Like this. Yeah. And this, this one's was... an interesting one. Um, you should show them the layout for how this one turned out because it's super yeah. cool. Yeah, so this is going to be, yeah, this is an example of what is going to happen. So we start from the top left corner. Um, oh, sorry, let me act activate here and slide. Uh, oops. Yeah, this is cool. When you see it with the grid, you're like, oh, yeah, right. It's a small image. That's and then you're like, oh, shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I almost swear. <laughs> I was right. like, sure, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so good. Like... I mean, <laughs> so caught myself. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> Sick grids, bro. Sick, yeah, <laughs> totally. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. yeah it's, uh, so basically, yeah, the rule for this one, the grid is pretty basic. It's like a three by three uh, cells. And then it's just like top left corner. Um, and you kind of like start counting uh, from top left. And then you just go one, two, three, four. Um, and every, every three, fourth. every fourth, yeah. uh, you, you know, place the next image. Um, and then you just keep going. And then if you run out, if you have more images, you can, I mean, we can specify that. You can add a, yeah. another spread or you can just like start, go back from the beginning count. What I like and, about it is yeah. that you're not changing the height of the image to right. fit. So like if the image is really long, right. yeah, still, it would go all the right. way down. Yeah, could, yeah, or exactly. if it's, you know, perfectly right. square. So they all feel a little bit different and random, even though it's extremely controlled. Right. Yeah. 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 So they, that's one of the rules. Actually, it has to fit within the width of mm -hmm. each cell, and then with the last one, um, it goes the, to the edge. Right. Whatever yeah. the image is, it gets to stretch all the way to the edge. Cool. So this is basically what it kind of resulted in. Crazy. Mm -hmm. So then the next spread that you do, it would start in the second. Yeah. Um, or because it wouldn't start in the same spot, right? Right, yeah, it would. Um, so, like, here, the, the actual order would be actually something like. Would you start it in the number two position? Um, yeah, I got it. The, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, exactly. So I then would everything start here. would be off. Yeah, yep. Exactly. And so then it wouldn't depending. always. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Super. Right. Oh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. These complicated yeah. rules make everything, like, really interesting when they interact on the page. I love it. It gets harder. I think we learned that a little bit earlier too with Sunny's process is that it takes more time to set up in the right. beginning with editorial, right. but it makes everything much more streamlined and like interesting in the end. Right. So yeah, yeah that's it's a, really cool to see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the thing. I think uh, the important thing with editorial design that you kind of want to get the rules right. Yeah. At the beginning, uh, and sometimes you. You don't know, so you kind of have to like test them out. Yeah, and see, or back okay. into them and then make them hard. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And see, like, okay, does this rule actually work or not? Uh, let's test it. And like, I specifically started with, you know, with the body copy. Um, and I just did a quick layout and see what I want it to look like. And then I built a rule around it. Um, and that's exactly because I don't want to sit. Of the rule <laughs> You're like, I'm not setting those rules up right. later. Yeah, and I don't want to work yeah. with that rule right. I made. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so yeah. funny. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Puya. Yeah, um, Puya will be back tomorrow. And up next, we have Alma Kamal with Kathleen. So stick with us. And it's going to be a great show and editorial all week. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. We'll see you soon.